My name is Sharna and I am from Jamaica. In 2016, I came into America, chasing the American dream. When I first got my visiting visa to come into America, I left my three children in Jamaica with the intention of bringing them here to be with me also. But it was not so, it did not happen. The promises that were made to me were never kept. You know, I came looking for a better life, better opportunities, especially for my children because of the job opportunities here, I would be able to send them to university. Eventually I overstayed and you know, it's either stay or go home for good. So I got here in 2016 and I got married and none of the promises that were made were kept. So I ended up filing a VAWA. Somebody introduced me to a lady who could file our cases. She did file the case for me and 2019, I got a letter from immigration. Basically, the letter was an intent to denial. You know, I was devastated, you know, didn't know what to do. And someone told me about Brad. I started listening to his programs on Facebook. So I called him and I explained the letter that I had gotten from immigration. And he told me straight out that it was an intent to deny and told me that he could assist me. However, he did explain to me that the person who filed the case for me should never have touched it. She's not a lawyer to begin with, so she don't have the know-how. She should not have touched that case. I did not know that. So I got the denial letter and I still didn't reach out to Brad. And 2022, I got a letter from them stating that I was placed in deportation court. And that's when my troubles began. You know, the fear was real. So I reached out to Brad again, paid the consultation fees this time and everything. Once I retained him, he quickly put my, my fears to rest. You know, I, I felt positive because he told me that he could help me. We went to immigration court. We had two hearings and we won. That was a happy day. I was very happy. They've been doing this for years. So they have all the experience. They, they know the do's and the don'ts. They filed the I-130. From that, I got my work permit. And moving forward, I got my green card. So moving from deportation to being a green card holder, it's a blessing. No longer do I have to live in fear, you know? I don't have to be wondering they're really going to come looking for me, you know, if I'm going to be sent home, you know, be disgraced. I no longer have to be worried about that. I am a 10 year green card holder, a proud one I might say. And I'm very grateful for everything that Brad and his staff has done for me. Once I got the work permit, for me, it seemed like all the doors were now opened. I was able to go back to school. I went ahead and I did the CNA classes. After doing the CNA classes, I went right into EKG department. And now I'm waiting to go do the state exam for the PCT so I can work in the hospitals. You know, there's all this opportunity in front of me now. My mother is currently in a hospital in Kingston, Jamaica. Now I'm able to go down to visit my mother in the hospital. Eventually I got my boys here on a work program and then my daughter now is left in Jamaica. So me getting this green card, it means filing for my daughter. I expect my daughter to be here with me in about four or so months. You know, that gives me peace of mind. My boys, they'll be going, starting in aviation schooling. My daughter is gonna be here with me where she can finish high school. She has a dream of being an anesthesiologist. And I know she's gonna get there because of this help that I was able to get from Brad's office. They're so helpful and encouraging. You know, they'll keep telling you, you know, keep fighting, not to give up. And, you know, this is what we need as immigrants. We need to hear, you know, keep fighting. Don't give up. We need people who are strong on our sides. And that's what Brad's office gives to us. Brad, he did put me on a payment plan. If I was not put on a payment plan, I could not have done this. It would not have been possible for me. So today I'm here. I've gone from being in deportation court to being a green card holder. And a 10-year green card, let me say that I am a proud 10-year green card holder. I did not get a two-year green card. I got a 10-year green card. So I, all I can say is, if you don't have a green card, don't be afraid. Call Brad. They always have something to offer you. Call them. Don't be afraid. Get a consultation. 
and allow them to guide you through this. I went from being in deportation to being a 10 year green card holder and I am grateful and thanking God every single day of my life. It's the American dream.